<laughs> DVM's coming at you today with a product review on the John Deere Hay Moisture Temperature Handheld Tester. This is a nice tester because it allows you to figure out where your bales are at um, in the process of making them, especially if you don't want to put an actual moisture tester on your baler. Pretty simple tool. Um, it goes between about 14 and 44 percent moisture and goes um, up to um, about uh, 107 degrees Celsius, which is, you know, decent for temperature's sake. This tool can really help you prevent uh, making your hay so dry, which is probably anything under about 14 percent, um, or too wet, which is anything above probably 20 percent and, uh, you know, giving you mold. Um, I like the way the operation of the unit is. I do wish that the moisture reading went down to more like 12, um, but, you know, it works good. Uh, the best way to obviously check a bale, particularly round bale, is to go in from the side. I find it to be the most accurate. You push the button and you get the reading. This one's at 16.5. We baled this one this morning. It's about 90 degrees out, and the internal temperature of the bale is 28 Celsius, 83 Fahrenheit. And then you move over about maybe 4 inches, and you do it again. And uh, if you do this several times on a bale, 14.2 is the moisture. Um, you can get a reading of what the bale is, 85 degrees, 29 on, on Celsius. Um, and you can kind of get a bearing of, you know, where your hay is at. It's also nice when you're selling bales, you can stick this probe in and show people where the bale is at, and especially during the first, you know, two weeks of storage. That's when it's probably the most critical time for a bale. These bales are all stored inside, and I like to make my bales between about, oh, I would say probably about 15 and maybe 20, at the most maybe 21%. So these bales are looking real great for just being bailed this morning. Um, this is, like I said, probably about a $100 tool at the implement store. Um, you can buy these tools under different brands and names. Um, I particularly have the John Deere one here, and it works well. Um, you know, I have no issues sticking this probe in a bale before somebody buys one of these round bales. So to me, this is a useful piece of equipment, and it works great, and it's a lot easier than trying to uh, retrofit one of these onto a, an older baler um, that you can tell while you're baling. Thank you for watching, folks. Please subscribe and support the, the channel, and we'll keep putting out more product review videos like this. Thank you.